Hello, my name is Ed Frawley. My wife and I own Learbird, and uh, I have a good question here about a person that's getting a puppy and already has a dog. Uh, I say this at the beginning of all my videos, you don't have to be a customer of Learbird to send in an Ask Cindy question. You can ask it on training, you can ask it on breeding, on healthcare, uh, puppies, how to manage dogs in your home. If we can answer them, we will. If we can't, we're gonna write you back and say, hey, I need a little bit more information. Can you help me here? What did you mean by this or that? So I'll read this and then we'll talk about it because it's common. This involves a person that has an adult dog. And in this case, it's a border collie and they're gonna bring in a puppy. I'll read it. Hello, Cindy, I have a three-year-old female border collie and I'm hoping to get a new puppy in the future. Do you have any advice on how to introduce them successfully? Very good of this person to think ahead rather than bringing a puppy in and cutting it loose in the house and let the chips fall where they lay. And in a lot of cases, it could be let the blood fall where it lays. For example, should I keep them separated in the house for the first few days so that my adult dog realizes that she's not missing out on anything and can gradually get used to the idea of sharing our home? My adult dog ignores strange dogs when it's outside, except when they come charging up to her and me, in which case she charges at them and snaps them away. That's a good word. She snaps them away. But she never actually seeks trouble and doesn't react when passing other dogs on lead, even when it's really close. People have said that bringing home a puppy is very different than taking your dog around strange dogs when they approach, would you agree? I'm a bit worried about her dislike of other dogs approaching and at the same time, I'm reassured because she never continues to chase a dog once it's backed off. So, really, really good question. And more people that have the idea of having a multiple dog household should give some thought to it before they bring in a new dog. Cindy says, bringing a new puppy into a home is definitely different than encountering a dog out on a walk. We manage new puppies that we bring into our home and we do it using baby gates, uh, dog crates, X-pens and leashes to control and manage all of the interaction between our puppy and our adult dogs that we already have. And keep in mind, and I've said this in many of my other videos, that when you bring a dog into a, your home, the first goal you should have is to teach the dog or the puppy, what its new environment is. And we also want our adult dog to understand that, okay, this is a new family member. You can have a dog that can be a little bit aggressive towards other dogs, but it can learn to live with a puppy that you bring, it into, your, that you bring into your home. And it can take at least two weeks to go through this honeymoon period that we call it can take longer than that. You're the only one that can read your adult dog. The way we introduce them is by bringing the puppy right into our living area, putting it in a dog crate with a whole bunch of its toys, and it can play with its toys there. We don't allow our puppy to go and jump on the new dog, not for a long, long time. Not until we see that our older dog actually likes this new dog. We don't wanna be in a position where the old dog feels like it has to correct bad behavior from the puppy. We want the old dog to realize that we'll take care of things for him. And we do that, for one thing, our puppies are not on leash, off leash in our house for a long, long time, maybe a year. What is the rush to let a puppy run around in your house and get into things that you don't want them to get into, like the garbage? And I say this in other videos too. Do you know how long it takes a puppy to go behind a couch and pee and come back out about three or four seconds? You know, it takes no time at all for them to run around there, squat and pee and come back out because they don't want to do it in front of you. If you got them on leash, you're not going to let them go behind the couch. 
if you're doing your job right and you're taking them out every few hours so they learn to pee and poop outside, you're good to go with that. Cindy goes on to say, we have a free course on management here on Learbird. And that's true. I did a course on how we manage, not so much manage puppies, but how we manage dogs that live in our house. And it talks about using the X-Pens. It talks about using dog crates. Why, how long, how we use them, why we use them. Uh, and then she says, we also have a number of specific puppy online courses and videos, and we would recommend that. The lady wrote back and said, fantastic, thank you so much for your reply. That's so encouraging that you agree that bringing in a permanent new family member is different from meeting strange dogs on walks. I feel so much more optimistic now. I'll take a look at the management course and I'll get a couple of your other videos and online courses. So yeah, it's a good thing. Another possibility of us, ham of us helping somebody and probably preventing a problem. Because you don't want to have a situation where you bring a puppy in your house and you let it run around and you've got an adult dog and the puppy goes, jumps on it, and the older dog jumps on that puppy and it could hurt the puppy, it could scare the dickens out of the puppy, and it could set you back months, months, if not forever, where they would never get along. So just take the time it takes to make sure that your dogs know each other, are comfortable with each other, and introduce them on walks. If you're lucky enough, we are lucky because we have 45 acres with horses and this and that, and our property's fenced, where we can go outside with our adult dogs and they can be off leash and we can take them for a walk. We don't take our puppies off leash. When we, we don't take the puppies off leash. Even we're raising a one-year-old chihuahua right now. She's never been off leash on a walk outside and I walk her several times a day and she's still out on leash because we control her. And, and she's faster than grease lightning. This little puppy runs so fast, I can't believe how fast she would go. And I'm not gonna go out there and, and create a scenario where she gets into things that she shouldn't get into and I can't manage or control her. So that's the key here with puppies, manage them, the way that we talk about in our training material and the way I've talked about in this question and answer.